Welcome back to my channel and happy, happy Saturday. It is Saturday, so you know what that means. It is grocery haul day. I am doing a Walmart grocery pickup. I'll be doing some shopping at both Target and Trader Joe's. So I have quite a large haul for you again this week. We are having a couple of little get-togethers for the 4th of July. My mom and her boyfriend and some family friends are coming over Friday night, and then I have friends coming over tonight. So it's going to be a busy weekend with lots of little festivities, lots of food needed. So I have quite a large haul, not to mention my amazing meal plan and meal prep for this next week. So if you want to see what I picked up for this week's grocery haul, my meal plan and meal prep, stay tuned. <music> week's grocery haul. I have a huge haul this week. Not only did I have to grab everything for meal prep and meals throughout the week, we also are having two separate barbecues this weekend. So I had to make sure that I grabbed everything for those barbecues as well. So we got a big haul. So let's jump right in. So these are some of my very favorite potato chips from Trader Joe's. They are seasonal. You guys know I've bought these the last few weeks. I got them for the barbecue, but these are a mixed bag of sea salt and vinegar, delicious dill, home style ketchup, and kicking sweet, smoking sweet, barbecue flavored chips. So good. Now these don't have the best ingredients, but they are seriously so good. I had to pick up one more bag while Trader Joe's still has them in stock and they're not bad in smart points or calories either. I will be putting both points and calories here on the screen so that you guys are aware if you're counting calories or points or both. I just got a Thrive order and I ordered some organic pizza crust. So I grabbed some of the Trader Joe's pizza sauce. This sauce has pretty good ingredients. It's super low point. It's really, really delicious. So that way we can have a pizza night. And then I was almost out of cumin, so I grabbed another cumin at Trader Joe's. You can't beat their spice prices, so $1.99, which is a stellar price, so I grabbed that. And then I restocked my coffee creamer. This time I grabbed the Fair Life Creamy in Vanilla. Again, all flavored creamers have natural flavors, not always the best ingredients, but this one is pretty good. And it's pretty low in smart points because it's only 30 calories per tablespoon and lower sugar than a lot of the other options. If you're not interested in a sugar-free creamer, this is a good choice. I needed some more maple syrup just until my Thrive order gets here. I usually buy it from Thrive. It's way less expensive, but this organic Vermont maple syrup from Trader Joe's is awesome. By the way, I will link Thrive down below for you guys. You get $20 worth of free product of your choice when you join the Thrive market. So definitely check it out. Also, a small little thing of Parmesan cheese just because our other one was expired. We don't use it that often, but I wanted to make sure that I had some on hand. And then in the back here, I have, of course, the Partake cookies. These are some of my very favorite. These cookie butter ones are amazing. They're soft. They are so good. You could have one cookie for two smart points. A serving is three cookies. So however you want to do that calorie point wise. And then I also grabbed the birthday cake ones because these ones I have to say are my very favorite with these cookie butter ones in second place. The chocolate chip were good, but I just like these two flavors a lot better. A restock on my great value unsweetened almond milk. I really like this almond milk and I love that there's no carrageenan and no natural flavors and it's super, super affordable. I've been using a lot of almond milk in smoothies and protein shakes. So I grabbed that since I did my Walmart pickup at Target. I grabbed a six pack of my Zevia ginger root beer. Fred Meyer is the only place, which is a Kroger store that I've seen Zevia in the 10 pack or eight pack for a way better price. So next week I'm probably going to go shopping there, but this week I wanted to have some to kind of make it through the week. So I grabbed a six pack at my local Target. At Trader Joe's, I grabbed these salmon and sweet potato treats for the dogs. My dogs can't have chicken or grain, so these are a great option. They're the perfect size if you just want to give a little treat to your dog. And then I grabbed the coconut body butter. I bought this a couple years ago and I love it. I love having my skin all soft and moisturized in the summer. $5 I think for this big container, so highly recommend if you have a Trader Joe's near you. I grabbed some more eggs and as far as eggs went, this is really the only option at Target. These are the Good and Gather Organic Large Eggs. They were pretty affordable, so I grabbed those. 
And underneath my eggs is two packages of ultra thin roast beef from the Good and Gather brand. This is for my husband for his lunch. He asked for roast beef sandwiches this week, so I grabbed that. So this is a new thing for me. These are the perfect bite. So these are refrigerated little protein snacks. I always look at the perfect bars when I'm at the store and I just never buy them because they're really high in calories and points for that matter. But these aren't too bad. You can actually have 11 bites for 160 calories. I haven't taken a really close look at the ingredients but generally perfect bars are pretty good and it has 20 plus superfoods they're organic and in one serving you get seven grams of protein and they're pretty good size you could have half of a serving and still get a good little snack in so I grabbed those and then from Walmart some more Parmesan cheese just because I need this for actually several dinner recipes this next week some organic feta you guys know i love this on my salads and then i'm actually making a big green salad for both of the barbecues and i'm going to do my my salad the feta the strawberries the pumpkin seeds all of that so i grabbed some more feta also some buttermilk bread this is for my husband's lunches of course for his roast beef sandwiches and i loved these last week you guys when i grabbed these little good culture cottage cheese the pineapple is my very favorite the blueberry was okay i've never tried the raspberry so i'm excited to try these this week these are really low in points and it's a mix of cottage cheese and fruit so it's kind of a nice little treat and it's 100 calories i think it's three or four points and only three grams of sugar so i grabbed a raspberry to try and then two more of the pineapple because like i said those were my very very favorite so excited about those some turkey pepperoni this is for a meal prep i can't wait to share meal prep and my meal plan with you so stay tuned after the haul for that lots of cheeses a restock on my light shredded cheese for recipes mozzarella cheese this is another thing i love and i shared last week that if you do pick up this mozzarella from trader joe's it is one ounce for two points so it's a great dupe for that one point light mozzarella that trader joe's used to have and this stuff is amazing so i grabbed that the baby swiss is for his roast beef sandwiches i thought roast beef and swiss would be a great combination wonton wrappers this is for a recipe so i grabbed these at walmart i actually didn't see these at target so i was glad that i added them to my walmart order grab some of these true story these are brand new at trader joe's uncured beef hot dogs these are organic i'm excited for these i heard on katie hespy's channel if you guys don't check her out she does a lot of trader joe's hauls so check her out if you love trader joe's but she talked about these and i thought for the barbecues this weekend this would be great and they're only 120 calories per link which is pretty good for a full fat sausage so excited for that also got the organic sweet Italian chicken. This is for a jambalaya recipe that I'm making. These are incredibly good as well and fabulous, fabulous ingredients for these. Big bag of powdered sugar. This is for the desserts that I'm going to be making for our barbecue. I'm going to be doing a fruit pie it's like on a sugar cookie crust with cream cheese and fruit and then i'm making homemade little biscuits with fruit and homemade whipped cream kind of like a like a strawberry shortcake for the fourth of july with berries and blueberries kind of the red white and blue theme and i needed powdered sugar for all of those recipes and under that is of course per the usual the six pack of kombucha from walmart this is the best price so anytime i go to walmart i add this to my cart as well I picked up a box of the Simply Balanced Organic Low Sodium Chicken Broth from Target. There was a great coupon for this, and you guys know we use chicken broth for so much that it's nice to just have an extra one on hand. This is a new find for me, and I actually was just walking down this aisle getting ready to leave Target. This is the Simply Balanced Light Chai tea latte now this has pretty good ingredients you can have three quarters of a cup for only 45 calories here are your ingredients i think natural flavors was the only thing i didn't love which really you guys anytime you get anything flavored it's probably going to have natural flavors but i thought that i would give this a try i thought it would be really good and refreshing for maybe like an afternoon snack 
So next time you're at Char Target, check it out. I'll let you guys know how this is. Four cans of green beans and take a wild guess who those are for. Diesel and Lola. I always grab them at Walmart. They're the most affordable price there. So I picked up four cans of those. And then I have a big stack of my Siggy's yogurts. I love these. I always buy the vanilla and then the mixed berry. These are full fat yogurts. They are so good. I believe they're five points, but they're only 130 calories and they're just full fat, delicious, great ingredient yogurt. So I grab those. I like to have those as a snack, especially either pre or post workout because you get a good amount of protein and fat and they're really, really delicious. Top it with a little bit of granola or some fresh fruit and it's a perfect snack. You could even have that as breakfast with some eggs. Amazing. And then for Diesel, like we talked about last week for his digging in the gravel, I grabbed a couple more packets of taco seasoning. This works really well if your dogs dig in places because they don't like the smell of it. So we just sprinkle this down in the gravel and voila, he doesn't dig anymore. And then you can see I picked up a sugar cookie roll. This is for that fruit pie. I don't know what it's called. I'll put it here on the screen. It has a name for it. I think it's a fruit pizza, but you make a sugar cookie dough crust and it's so good, you guys. So I grabbed that for that barbecue recipe. Some gnocchi. This is for a couple of dinners coming up. A pound of 99% ground turkey just because I just used my last pound of 99. And sometimes I do like to use this 99% in recipes if I'm trying to reduce calories and points. It works really, really well. It's super low calorie. It's zero points on blue and purple and really low on green. So it's just a nice option to have available in the freezer. I needed cream cheese for those recipes for this little barbecue and party that we're having. I'm also making homemade whipped cream. So I picked up two packs of heavy whipping cream from Walmart. We're having burgers. So one night we're going to have the burgers that came in my butcher box, which you guys, if you're looking for affordable grass fed, grass finished beef, check out butcher box. It is super affordable down in the description box. I have a link for $30 off your first box. You can't beat that. You basically get $30 worth of free meat. We love it. We get a box every other month. I have one package of burgers, but since we're having two barbecues, I needed two packages. So I grabbed these good and gather ones from Target. Cleo bars per the usual. So you can see my stack I have going on here. This vanilla is my favorite. Now I really like the strawberry too, but I love the vanilla. So these are 140 calories per bar. They have eight grams of protein. So they're a nice boost of protein, some fat. So they keep you full. These taste like cheesecake covered in chocolate. They're that good. I love the vanilla. I love the strawberry. So it looks like I grabbed eight of the vanilla and four strawberries. So these will definitely last a while, but you find these in the yogurt section of Walmart. I don't know if other stores carry them. I heard Target does, but my Target does not. So I think it's kind of hit and miss, but they are by the yogurts. I get tons of questions about them. You can also buy them on the cleosnacks.com website if that's easier for you, but I think that they're a little more expensive there. So check your local Walmart, see if they have them. I've also heard that they are sold at some Sam's Clubs and Costco's. We don't have Sam's Club here and my Costco does not carry them. So lots of options to pick these up if you're interested. And then for my husband, I grabbed just a little jar of olives. You guys, these were like 80 cents at Target. You can't beat that. And he loves green olives. So I picked those up. And I needed a couple of different craft dressings for a couple of recipes. I couldn't find the other one. So I'm just going to use this zesty light Italian in both recipes. I think it's going to be just fine. But I have a couple dinner recipes that require um, craft salad dressing. So I grabbed that at Target. Walmart, I grabbed my buns for the barbecue. So I have two packs of hamburger and one pack of hot dog. That's because these buns are only 100 calories and three points. So they are the lowest point buns that I can find in my area. Hands down. We do not have Schmidt's 647, which I know is another really low point bread and bun option. We don't have that in my area. So this is by far the lowest calorie, lowest point bun. So it's going to be perfect for the barbecue for me to not have to count a lot of calories and points for it. I also grabbed some cauliflower gnocchi at Trader Joe's just because we only have one bag left in our freezer. And truthfully, this is a staple in our house. 
Also, a restock on my Yasso bars. I loved having these last week. These are so good. Now, are they the cleanest food? No. Do they have better ingredients than a lot of the low calorie ice cream bars? Yes. So I picked up the chocolate chip cookie dough. I loved this one. And then another box of the mint chocolate crunch. This one is so good too. So this one's 150 calories in five points. And this one is 100 calories in five points. So just keep that in mind. They are five points a piece. Now everything else is produce. So I have a bag of organic lemons, of course, for my water. A couple big sweet potatoes here. This is for my lunch meal prep for this next week, which I'm so excited about. Fresh basil for salads. And then I also want this for pizza and dinner recipes. Mushrooms for a recipe. These organic cremini from Trader Joe's are so good, you guys. The best mushrooms. And then I needed some tomatoes, not only for burgers, but also for recipes. Tricolor peppers. I'm going to add some of these to the salads that I'm making for the barbecue. And then I need peppers for a couple of dinners. And then lastly, I have some more frozen veggies from Walmart. The steamable multicolor cauliflower blend. I really like this one. And then just some organic broccoli florets. And I also picked up a bottle of wine for the barbecue, water, and beer for my husband. But that's this week's grocery haul. Holy moly, my friends, we made it through. So let's jump into meal plan and meal prep. I forgot to show you guys my fruit. <laughs> These are for the red, white, and blue desserts. And then of course the rest for snacking. So I did grab a big, I mean, this is a huge container of blueberries, $8.99 at Trader Joe's for organic blueberries. And then also a big pack of organic strawberries, again, for the desserts and then the rest for snacking. So now let's do meal plan and meal prep. All right, so let's get into this week's meal plan and meal prep. Again, I'm showing you guys my Carrie L meal planner. I'm not sure if these are back available. I know they do have the printable version. So if you're looking for a great meal planner, definitely check out the Carriel. You guys know I love this. So I did put together my calendar for July. Isn't this so cute with all the llamas? I did kind of map out what I was planning on having for dinners. Now, sometimes I do change up the days that I have these particular meals, but this is my plan of attack for the month of July. So I do utilize the monthly calendar. And then each week, there's actually a weekly menu and a grocery list, and I use that as well. So let's take a look at this week. You'll see the grocery list is missing because I took it to the grocery store. So this is 7-4 through 7-10. So Saturday we are having a barbecue the day you're seeing this video. We had a little 4th of July get together yesterday and today, so it's going to be super, super fun. So I'll be using weekly slash calories for that. Sunday I'm making slow cooker jambalaya. I am so excited for this recipe. I'll be featuring this in my what I eat in a day that will be out next Wednesday. So definitely stay tuned for that. You're not going to want to miss this recipe. Monday is pizza pasta salad. This sounds very intriguing. I'm excited for this. I'll probably pair this with some sort of zero point protein. I'm not sure what we're looking at points and things in this salad. So I'll probably pair it with a low calorie zero point protein. Tuesday, this is another thing I'm really excited about, gnocchi and meatball bake. So this is a casserole bake with gnocchi, which is one of my favorite things, meatballs, which I love, so I'm excited for that. Wednesday, I think we'll do some leftovers just because we'll have quite a bit from earlier in the week. Thursday, we're gonna do some grilled bruschetta chicken. My husband is off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so I'm gonna have him grill some up. We're gonna put some bruschetta on there. It's going to be delicious. And then Friday, we'll do another leftover night simply because of having so many leftovers from earlier in the week. Now, on the back of my weekly plan is where I decide to also plan for my meal prep. So all of these recipes you guys will see in my meal prep video that will be out on Monday. I am so excited for these three recipes. I can't even begin to tell you. So keep your eye out for that video Monday. For breakfast, I'm going to be making breakfast wonton cups. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Lunch is going to be turkey sliders with sweet potato buns. So this is going to be an extremely low point dish on the purple plan and still great on blue and green as well. So we're using sweet potatoes in place of buns. So this ought to be interesting. And then I'm making lemon bars because it's summer and we love lemon especially in the summer. So stay tuned Monday for those three recipes. So again, that's my meal plan and my meal prep for the week, my Carriel meal planner. Go ahead and head over to their website, check it out, see if they have the spiral bound available or just the printables, but 
I love it and it's such a great way to stay on track. Thank you so much for joining me on another weekly My WW Grocery Haul. Whew, my friends, we had quite the haul this week. We had such a great time Friday night. I'm looking forward to tonight, my meal plan, and my meal prep for next week. All of it sounds absolutely incredible. Meal prep will be up on Monday, so stay tuned for that. You'll see a recipe on Wednesday, and I have lots of fun videos coming your way the rest of the week. So if you're not part of my channel, make sure that you hit that little subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. Check out the description box below for the link to my website. Also to head over and join my Facebook group. We would love to have you be part of our amazing, supportive, warm community over there. We have grown by hundreds of new community members just this week alone. So head over and join us. You'll also find links and discount codes to my favorite things. So check out that description box. Give this video a big thumbs up if you love yourself some grocery hauls. And let me know down in the comments if I showed you anything new that you have to get your hands on. Happy Saturday, my friends, and I will see you tomorrow in Sunday's video.